Hey everyone, this is Tanika Renee, and you're watching MobileMediaTV.com. How did you discover health in your lifestyle? Um, well, growing up, um, I grew up, my mother, she had a drug addiction, and um, I wasn't close to her, and the guy, that's one reason why I left home, and um, so I was overseas working, and I got a call that my mother was very sick, so I came home, and she suffered from diabetes, she had juvenile diabetes when she was a child, and um, it didn't help that she had a drug addiction, so, you know, um, her organs were failing her, and it hurt my heart because I've always been healthy, um, but it hurt my heart to know that, you know, my mother, like, she's suffering from stuff that could have been, she was suffering from stuff that could have been avoided. So, I decided, you know what, I want to make a difference. I want to teach women and children, and I want to teach everyone that, you know how to eat properly. Don't use food as a clutch or use food when you're eating to eat. You know, food is out there to heal you. And everything you eat has an effect on your body, whether it's positive or negative. And I want to teach people, you know, if you eat an apple, you can do this. Or if you eat that french fry at McDonald's, it still has having this effect on your body. So I just, I said I want to change. I want to make a change. I want to try to teach people, even if it's one person at a time. And you were telling me that you're like a vegetarian in a certain way? Well, I'm Like you have a strict diet you follow? Well, I'm not a vegetarian. Um, I don't eat pork. Um, I don't eat beef. Um, I, you know, I try to eat whole food. Um, meaning, you know, I eat a clean diet. Um, I cook when I'm home. I make sure I cook. Because when you cook, you know the ingredients that you're putting in your food. When you go to a restaurant or you go to McDonald's, you don't know what you're putting in your food. Most of the time, that's processed. That's something that came packaged and they throw it in the fryer or they throw it in the microwave. And when you're at home and you're cooking and you you have that pepper, that whole pepper in your slice, you know, you know that this is a fresh whole pepper that's going into my food. So like, I try to cook as much as possible. When I'm on the road, um, you know, I do cheat when I'm on the road. I'm not going to even say that I'm cheat. I, I'm harming my body when I'm on the road because I do eat stuff that's unhealthy. But um, I try to counteract it. So, for example, um, if I go out to eat with the girls, and I'm, I'm weak for ice cream. I love ice cream, but I know the effect that dairy has on your body. So if I go out to eat and I have um, an ice cream, you know, I, I may do a... Uh, whether that's in the morning, I might, you know, basically I won't eat after a certain time. In the morning, I'm going to make sure I have a full glass of warm water, clean grains, you know, quinoa grains or oatmeal. I make sure I eat clean in the morning because I, I went and I ruined my body with that ice cream. Go to Jamba Juice. <laughs> Jamba Juice is actually not healthy. Oh, please educate us on that. Um, Jamba Juice, first of all, um, their, their food sometimes is they'll have like the syrup. Like just look what they're putting in. When, you're, when they're making your drink, sometimes they'll put like the, the, the fruit that came in a package. Like the fruit cocktail. It's not even fruit, like for example, strawberries. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they get the, you know the strawberries that you get in their freezer? Yeah. Um, and they're, it's like in sugar, yeah. and sugary. Those are processed strawberries that in some plant, they cut them up, they put some sugar in and they package it and froze it. Mind you, your strawberries are hitting all types of metal machines and getting all types of toxins. And you want fresh food. I would rather just take some strawberries, some blueberries, some bananas, um, you know, you throw some protein powder, that's your thing. I don't put milk in it, I use juices, so I might do, do an apple juice. Um, I personally don't do orange juice because I have a lot of sugar. You know, you mix all that up and make your own smoothie. Instead of going to 
of the java juice and you're getting all this sugar and there's so much sugar your 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 body can't even process the food. There's a lot going on there. We learned something today. <laughs> And that does make sense. I read that the fruit cocktail is not even fruit; it's yeah, just sugar. Yeah, even um, the cranberry, some cranberry juices. You get a, a cranberry cocktail, and it's like ten percent cranberry, and you're getting all sugars. Or, um, you know, it's it's it, it's just it's ridiculous. They lie to you, even with whole wheat versus um, what's it? Whole wheat versus the the wheat bread. I think it's the but basically, one is not, it's a mixture of different grains. And one is the actual grain, which is whole wheat. And it's this ridiculous they lie to you are organic. You know. That's another thing, too. Yeah, they'll say, oh, like, how can you have organic soda? Like, that's like an oxymoron, organic soda. <laughs> and in order for something to be considered organic, it only has to be 75% organic. So certain things don't let, let people lie to you say, oh, it's organic, when it's really not. Do you think eating healthy comes with a price? Um, some, okay, my belief, no. Some people say, oh, it's very expensive. I feel like it's just expensive. Um, I buy bulk, like if I go to Whole Foods, I get my grains, um, they have bulk machines where you get the grains and you bag them yourself, which is, like I, for a week, I was, but not even a week, I would say almost a month, five dollars worth of grains for a month. Um, you know, it's, it's about how you, it's about cooking your food and what you're eating. You know, if you're getting the processed organic, which is not really organic, but if you're getting the processed food, like the, the waffles that come freezer or that food, of course it's going to be expensive. But if you're getting the fresh food, no, it's not bad. It's the same, it's about the same cost. And I feel like, you know, as, as, as people, we need to invest in our bodies. Like a lot of people who complain about eating organic will go out there and buy a, a $30,000 car, $30, car or buy, you know, $1,200 pairs of shoes, but you don't want to invest in your body. Ridiculous. And how many years LFL has been in existence? Um, three years. I've been playing for three years. It's been around for three years. Well, the, the league itself has been around for three years. Um, before that, it was around for five years. So totally eight years. Before the league, we were just playing halftime at the Super Bowl. And it was called the, the Lottery Bowl. <laughs> but now, you know, we're, we're pretty hardcore. We're international. We have a team up in Canada. Um, we just had our all-star game, the East one. Um, we did great. But yeah, you know, we're, we're doing big things. Started as a halftime segment now, a full league. Yes. A lot of guys want to know, are you single and available? Um, yes, I'm single. Am I available? No. Um, I'm fully, fully committed to my career right now. I'm so focused. I have a lot of things that I want to accomplish. And I don't want to be selfish to the guy. You know? I basically want to just stay focused on my career and when I'm ready to commit to someone. And when that time comes, what kind of guy could catch your attention? Um, I like confident guys, you know, guys who aren't afraid to be them. Um, ambitious, because I'm very ambitious, so you have to keep up with me. Um, yeah, I like guys just who know what they want. And what's the one thing that could turn you off? Um, no ambition. Um, no ambition and bad breath. Laziness and don't brush their teeth. Yes. To be blunt. And what's your background? Um, my background is Jamaican. Jamaicans are hard workers. You can see your drive. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. 